In the workshop, something completely different. How to repair broken ornaments easily, quickly and permanently. 38 years ago, I bought a chess set. It wasn't expensive and it's made of cast resin and unfortunately, the heads have fallen off three of the chess pieces. And these heads have been in a box for about 37 years. So I think it's time to fix them. I've been meaning to do this job for a long, long time, but I didn't just want to stick the heads back on because if you do that, they're going to fall off again. But I have a really good idea to simply and easily fix these. The heads have broken off quite cleanly, apart from a tiny chip missing off the pawn, the small one. So if I'm very careful with this job, I should be able to make an almost invisible repair. The first thing to do is to drill a hole in the body of the figure. In this clip I'm drilling the hole in the top of the body of the figure using a 3 16th of an inch diameter twist drill. Alternatively you could use a 5mm twist drill. The basic idea is to drill a hole in the body and drill a hole in the head. And if the holes don't line up perfectly, that's not a problem, because the pin that I'm going to fit in these two holes is not going to be 5mm or 3 16 of an inch in diameter. It's going to be considerably smaller than that. As I'm drilling the holes in the chess pieces, by the smell of it, I think they must be cast in polyester resin. In this clip, I'm showing the drilling of the hole in the head. The head of the chess piece, not my head. You may be thinking, why am I doing an in the workshop feature on repairing chess pieces? Well, there's a couple of reasons that people may find this useful. The first reason is it gets you out of the house into the workshop. And your wife or partner will probably be quite happy that you're in the workshop just for once doing something really constructive and not just messing about on a lathe, making bits of metal into different shapes. Plus, in my case, my wife would have been really happy to see these chess pieces repaired after so many years, but sadly she is no longer with us. She moved out and lives in a flat down the road. I'm using a vacuum cleaner to get rid of all the dust that's been generated by the drill. And now in the body part of the chess pieces I'm inserting a brass 6BA bolt. And the next part of the job, mix up some JB Weld. You don't have to use JB Weld, you can use any type of epoxy resin. JB Weld is epoxy resin but it's reinforced with metal and it's very strong indeed. All you need to do is squeeze out an equal amount from each tube and then mix them together thoroughly. For this job to be successful, the adhesive has to be strong. Cyanoacrylate adhesive, also known as CA glue or super glue, is also very strong, but it's not very shockproof. By using this method to repair the chess pieces, the resultant job will be very strong. In this clip, using the bolt itself, I'm persuading some of the JB weld to go down into the hole in the body of the figure. But it's important not to use too much like I'm doing at the moment, because when I push the bolt into the hole in the figure, the bolt will displace the adhesive and you will get a big mess on top of the figure's body. So if I fit the head with so much adhesive in the centre of the body, it's going to ooze out everywhere and spoil the job. So I remove the bolt and scrape off quite a lot of the JB weld. And then when I replace the bolt, the adhesive does not ooze out of the hole. So it's time now to attach the head to the figure. There's JB Weld in the hole in the head, and as you can see, they go together perfectly. None of the adhesive is leaking out around the broken neckline. There's a chip out of the neckline on this figure, and you can see a little bit of JB Weld in there, and I suppose if I really wanted to be picky, I could fill that. But no, it will be fine. This is a soft-faced hammer. I'm gently tapping the head just to seat the adhesive. And as you can see, that's quite a neat repair. So the rest of this is plain sailing, same principle. This is one of the taller figures, JB Weld in the hole in the neck, JB Weld in the head, and once again I've put too much JB Weld on the joint. So here I'm about to use a piece of cloth to remove the excess because I do not want the JB Weld to ooze out around the neckline. That's more like it. And now the head fits to the body without all of the adhesive oozing out around the neck. I've just noticed a couple of very tiny spots, so I remove these with a small paintbrush. Then I tap the head with the soft faced hammer, which then seats the joint perfectly. The last of the figures to be repaired is a different colour, but it makes no difference because the repair principle is exactly the same. The crack line at the back of the neck was a little bit more visible on the darker coloured piece. 
but by carefully using the small paintbrush, it evened out very well. It's almost an invisible repair. So that's it, repaired after 37 years. And while I'm in the workshop, I may as well play with one of my steam engines. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.